Hey, this is Wallman Covers, and this here is my new Ibanez GRG 170DX Black Knight electric guitar. First revealed in my October 28 Metallica tribute, Metallica Through the Years, the 20 minute medley. You can check it out. First of all, I want to talk about the tribute a little. The video is done in 25 days with my new guitar and also my new Zoom R8 recorder, which also I will be reviewing later on. 10 songs from 10 albums in one big medley. I also used the same Yamaha ERB302 uh, white bass, the, the only one I have. And drums were done on FL Studio as usual. Now the question, why were there no vocals? Why is it only an instrumental medley? And here's the answer. Well, it's a very simple reason and in fact I did record the vocals and tried layering them on top. But I have finally accepted this one simple fact. My voice doesn't perfectly fit in Metallica songs, especially if it's just a regular cover. I have a D2 to D5 vocal range. I could though reach down to C2 if properly warmed up. Anyway, that's too low for Metallica. I'm not sure what range James Hetfield possesses, but obviously it's higher. So I can't sound as intense as he can, and I cannot have such vocals on top of music that is so fast, aggressive, and heavy. It will be disappointing. But actually, I almost blew my voice on the chorus of the Outlaw Torn. I had to go a full octave higher to make it sound good. So I hit F sharp 4. I even started to hear that rasp in my voice. So yeah, f it, no vocals. So now let's get back to today's topic. We're gonna be reviewing my guitar, my recorder, and I'm also gonna be telling you a short but sad story about my old electric guitar. My new Ibanez is called GRG170DX Black Knight. It has a maple neck, a poplar body, treated New Zealand pine shark tooth inlay, jumbo frets, an Ibanez T102 tremolo bridge, a string space of 10.5mm, an Infinity R humbucking neck pickup, an Infinity RS single coil middle pickup, an Infinity R humbucking bridge pickup. The three are passive and made of ceramic, chrome hardware color. And as you can see, there is a soft but beautiful glitter on the body. Two more colors were available, Candy Apple and Jewel Blue. However, only the Black Knight had the glitter. Take classic Ibanez playability, combine it with three power sound pickups and throw in a seriously stable tremolo system and you've got the Ibanez GRG170DX electric guitar, an axe made to rock. I was told by many people, including those who sold me the guitar, that it was such a good choice. And indeed it is. Great for a clean warm tone. Hard hitting heavy metal riffing. and blazing solos. The Zoom R8 is a recorder, interface, controller, and sampler. It's got 8 tracks, a maximum number of 2 simultaneous recording tracks, a maximum recording time of 200 minutes, that's 1 gigabyte and could save up to 1,000 projects. The device includes a metronome, a tuner, effects, B patterns, panning, and much more. There are numerous effect patches for a clean sound, distortion, bass, and more. The Zoom R8 combines multiple audio production tools in one compact device. In addition to being an 8-track recorder, it's a pad sampler and a rhythm machine, and can even serve as a DAW control surface and computer audio interface. Advanced features such as built-in stereo condenser microphones, dual mic, line, instrument level inputs, onboard DSP effects, and chromatic tuner complete the picture, making the R8 a great choice for home recordists and road warriors alike. Now here's the story about my old electric guitar. About two years ago, I got this used Strat from an unknown brand called Metello. 
I had never heard about them. I even googled them and barely found anything. At first I thought it was a good guitar. I even said that I would totally recommend it. No! I had no idea what I was saying. And shortly after I started to notice the issues that this guitar had. First, a tuning issue. I tuned this guitar time after time after time and it kept going out of tune. It couldn't go a f***ing minute in tune. Even worse, after a while, the string started to snap. Okay, let's be real, the strings are pretty sh** too. What happened next? My pickups died. I have no idea what happened to the pull pieces. And I do not believe it was water. Because the guitar had been kept in the case for nearly 5 months beforehand. Now, honestly, I plan on selling the guitar. Or maybe just the spare parts, the ones that are still okay. But I have a great desire to play for you one last time. So yeah, the bottom line is that guitar is just done. I do feel sad though that I never got to try uh, recording the two guitars together. I cannot get the same Strat sound on the Ibanez, obviously. Especially if I want to play the blues, for example. But at least you got to hear it one last time before saying goodbye forever. That was all. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Tell me what you think about the new guitar and also the new Zoom recorder. Please like and share the video and also subscribe to the channel. You were watching One Man Covers. I will see you next time.